What if I told you that less than 0.01% of all signals we've ever detected from space show any hint of an intelligent, non-random pattern? Well, that number may have just changed. Right now, something extraordinary is rippling through the fabric of reality itself. Across the quiet expanse of space, a tremor, faint yet unmistakable, has reached us. It didn't come from a collapsing star or colliding black hole. It came from something smaller, something stranger. The interstellar object known as 3, I divided by Atlas. For the first time in recorded history, NASA scientists have confirmed that this mysterious visitor, once believed to be nothing more than a drifting fragment of cosmic ice, has released what appear to be measurable shock waves through space-time. And the most astonishing part, those ripples are not random. They're patterned, deliberate, almost rhythmic. Uh, the first detection came from NASA's Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, in Louisiana. Usually, these ultra-sensitive detectors are tuned to the powerful ripples caused by black holes or neutron stars colliding billions of light years away. But on a quiet morning, researchers noticed something different, a short, low-amplitude vibration. It was too localized, too distinct. When the European Virgo Observatory in Italy picked up the same signal just seconds later, triangulation confirmed the source wasn't deep in the galactic core. It was within our solar system. And the, the coordinates pointed directly at three, I divided by Atlas. For days, scientists refused to believe it. How could an object only several hundred feet across bend the fabric of space-time itself? The math didn't make sense. Gravitational waves require immense energy, the kind released when entire stars collapse. But the data didn't lie. The wave was there, faint, elegant, but undeniably real. NASA quickly redirected the James Webb Space Telescope to capture infrared data from three, I divided by Atlas's position. What it saw defied logic, a faint oscillation in its brightness, perfectly synchronized with the timing of the gravitational pulses, the object wasn't just reflecting sunlight, it was emitting something, a burst, a pulse of energy that seemed to resonate across the void like the pluck of a cosmic string. To understand how impossible that sounds, imagine tossing a pebble into a pond and watching ripples spread across not just water, but the air, the ground, and even time itself. That's the scale of, of, of what's happening. A single object, not a black hole, not a neutron star, somehow producing ripples through the very framework of reality. Theories began flying across scientific circles. Some speculated the object might contain an exotic form of matter, perhaps a remnant of a neutron star core, compressed and hardened over billions of years. This in itself would be a Nobel Prize winning discovery, as it would be the first time we've ever encountered stable, condensed matter of that nature outside of a neutron star's immediate environment. Others wondered if it could be surrounded by a magnetic field so intense it interacts directly with the quantum foam, the jittering foundation of space-time. This quantum foam is the theoretical turbulent state of space-time at the smallest possible scales. The idea that a physical object could manipulate it is frankly something we thought was purely theoretical, a concept reserved for the moments after the Big Bang, not something floating in our own backyard. But one theory stood out, unsettling, elegant, and deeply profound. What if the object wasn't creating these ripples by accident, but by design? Let's pause and think about that. If the pulses are artificial, if 3i divided by Atlas is intentionally modulating energy to send gravitational ripples, then what we're witnessing isn't just a natural event. It's a message, a cosmic broadcast that doesn't rely on light or radio, but on the deepest fabric of physics itself, gravity. Unlike light, gravitational waves don't fade easily. They pass through stars, planets, even entire galaxies untouched. If an advanced civilization wanted to send a message across the universe, what better way to do it? 
And here's where uh, things get even more astonishing. When analysts converted the timing of the pulses into a frequency pattern, they discovered symmetry. The intervals between waves follow the repeating mathematical ratio, one that mirrors the Fibonacci sequence, a universal pattern seen everywhere in nature, from spiral galaxies to the human DNA helix. Coincidence? Perhaps, but if you're a physicist, you know nature doesn't waste effort. When patterns emerge from chaos, something is organizing them. NASA's data division at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory sent the wave signatures to Harvard's astrophysics department, where a team of theoretical physicists began translating the frequencies into sound, a process known as sonification. What they heard chilled them to the core. It wasn't random noise. It sounded almost harmonic, like chords slowly resonating through the universe, rising and falling with uncanny precision. One scientist described it as a heartbeat, too regular to be an accident. Could an object, a rock, possess rhythm, or was it responding to something? At this point, let's step back and remember three. I divided by Atlas isn't from our solar system. It's an interstellar traveler arriving from another star system entirely. That means whatever it's doing, pulsing, vibrating, or signaling, might not even be aimed at us. We might just be eavesdropping on something far greater. For many watching tonight, this echoes memories of humanity's earliest cosmic milestones. When Voyager 1 carried its golden record into deep space, a greeting in 55 languages, a message to whoever might find it, or when radio telescopes first listened for alien signals in the 1960s, capturing static that turned out to be the faint whisper of the Big Bang itself. But unlike those passive moments, this feels different. This time, something out there is active, purposeful. It makes you wonder, are we witnessing the universal language of physics itself being spoken? Harvard's analysis reveals something even stranger. The intervals between gravitational ripples corresponded almost perfectly to prime numbers, the mathematical building blocks of coded communication. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. The pulse rhythm followed that sequence before repeating. This isn't how nature usually behaves. Natural phenomena tend to follow harmonic or chaotic distributions, not prime progressions, which raises the question, who or what would understand prime numbers? This is what scientists call an anti-entropic signal. Nature tends toward chaos. It breaks things down. A sequence of prime numbers is the opposite. It's ordered, complex, and requires knowledge. It's an unmistakable hallmark of intelligence. Um, if you were trying to announce your presence to another intelligent civilization, you'd use something fundamental, something all advanced beings would recognize, math. Prime numbers are universal. They don't depend on language, chemistry, or culture. They're pure logic written into the architecture of the cosmos. Uh, NASA hasn't confirmed any official message decoding yet, but privately, scientists admit the possibility is no longer dismissed as science fiction. They're cautious, careful not to jump to conclusions. Yet, every new piece of data deepens the mystery. Because alongside the gravitational pulses, there's now evidence of low-frequency electromagnetic interference, almost like a carrier wave hidden within the shock. It's as though the object is layering multiple forms of communication using physics itself as the medium. For those who remember the Cold War space race, this moment feels like that, a turning point where discovery outpaces understanding. When the first atomic bomb lit the desert sky in 1945, humanity realized it had touched forces once reserved for stars. Today, with three, I divided by Atlas, it feels like those forces are reaching back to touch us. The more NASA studies this object, the more it defies conventional logic. Its surface appears to shimmer subtly, not like a reflection, but like interference patterns, as if reality itself bends differently around it. Some researchers suggest that the gravitational ripples may not originate from within the object at all, but from the space surrounding it, 
as though 3i divided by atlas carries its own gravitational field bubble moving independently through time's current. If that's true, it could represent a form of propulsion humanity has only dreamed of, manipulating the geometry of space to move without fuel, without drag, without limitation. Could it be that we're witnessing a spacecraft, one designed to travel not through space, but through space-time itself? This idea might sound fantastical, but consider this. Decades ago, scientists proposed the Alcubierre drive a theoretical method of faster than light travel using a warp bubble that compresses space in front and expands it behind. To be clear, the Alcubierre drive required exotic matter with negative mass, something we don't even know exists. But this object, 3i divided by Atlas, is already generating gravitational waves, which is the manipulation of space-time. It might not be using negative matter at all, but rather a form of phased energy emission that we don't understand, creating a localized surfing of the space-time fabric. It was purely hypothetical. But if 3i divided by Atlas can create gravitational ripples on command, it might already be doing something eerily similar. A real-world demonstration of warp physics, not in science fiction, but right now in our skies. If that's true, then this discovery changes everything because it means the universe may already be filled with travelers who've mastered the ultimate technology. Not ships that move through space, but space itself moving around them. And yet, for all its grandeur, there's something hauntingly poetic about this moment. Imagine being that object drifting for millions of years, carrying knowledge, purpose, or even memory uh, from a civilization long gone. Maybe three, I divided by Atlas, isn't just exploring, maybe it's searching, following the gravitational echoes of its creators, tracing the faint fingerprints of intelligence across the stars. As the shockwaves fade, NASA is planning to send a coded pulse of its own, a simple pattern of light and radio echoing the same prime number sequence. It's a cautious hello, a whisper into the dark. If 3i divided by Atlas responds, even once humanity will cross a threshold we can never return from, will no longer be observers of the cosmos, will be participants. For those who've lived through the greatest eras of discovery, the moon landings, the Voyager launches, the dawn of the internet, this may be the most profound chapter yet. Because this time, it's not about exploring another planet. It's about realizing that the universe itself might be aware. So what do these uh, shockwaves really mean? Are they the byproduct of some ancient machine, a natural phenomenon we can't yet grasp, or the signature of intelligence woven into the fabric of creation itself? We don't know, not yet. But one thing is certain, every ripple carries information. Every wave carries intent. And perhaps in the distant hum of those faint gravitational whispers, the universe is trying to speak. The lesson here is one of humility. For centuries, we've looked at the stars and tried to fit them into our understanding of physics. But this object, 3, I divided by Atlas, reminds us that the universe doesn't have to obey our rules or expectations. It forces us to question what we think is possible and to accept that we are uh, perhaps uh, just beginning to understand the true complexity of the cosmos. The greatest discoveries aren't the ones that confirm what we know, but the ones that shatter our assumptions. What do you think uh, three I divided by Atlas truly is? A, a natural wonder or something designed to travel where even light cannot? Let me know your theories in the comments below. And if this mystery fills you with the same sense of awe that defined the great age of exploration, don't forget to subscribe and share this with someone who still looks at the stars and wonders, because perhaps these ripples aren't just passing through us, perhaps they're passing through time, connecting civilizations separated by eons, bound together by curiosity. And... Uh, Maybe, just maybe, this isn't the universe's first whisper, but its first real conversation.